Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about The Walking Dead, The Ones Who Live, and I have some really cool quotes here from Andrew Lincoln, Denai Guerrera, and also the showrunner, Scott Gimple, and uh, it's just awesome, man. Everyone seems really optimistic about the future and the continuation of Rick and Michonne's story, so let's get right into it, man. So the first quote we have is from Scott Gimple, and he says, It's definitely going to go somewhere, but it might just be in my brain. It might just be my fan fiction. So, typical Scott Gimple answer. <laughs> Um, honestly, I mean, I believe in Scott Gimple. I think that Scott Gimple gets way too much hate for, you know, what everyone calls the decline or the downfall of The Walking Dead with the whole, you know, Negan and the Savior storyline and everything. And honestly, I mean, The Walking Dead reached like record breaking heights, you know, while Scott Gimple was the showrunner throughout seasons four, five, and six. So I think he gets way too much hate. I think he's a mastermind. And I mean, honestly, these spinoffs just prove that in my opinion. So... Here we have a quote from Andrew Lincoln in regards to a season two. He says, Never say never. There are other very important characters in the universe that are still wandering around and alive that I think it might be quite exciting to have them breathe the same air and see how long they survive together. But it's a difficult one. It would have to be like this, a very, or a really exciting story. So, yeah, I mean, it seems like Andrew Lincoln's on board for sure. It just needs to be something exciting, right? It needs to be something like The Ones Who Live, and, I mean, obviously, whatever they end up doing with Scott Gimple and Deny and Andrew Lincoln or whatever, whoever's involved with it, obviously, it's going to be a really exciting story. You know, possibly a reunion with Morgan or Negan or Daryl or something like that. That is that is what's going to come next, right? We're going to be in, you know, what I call the reunion phase of The Walking Dead, and it's going to be awesome. So, obviously, pretty cool to hear, you know, from Andrew Lincoln himself that... Ne you know, never say never, right? It could happen. We'll have to see. It'd have to be an exciting story, but it's just awesome to see Andrew Lincoln pretty much on board for the continuation. And here we have some cool stuff from Andrew Lincoln where he says, um, that was thrilling that we did episodes and sequences that I'm intensely proud of and we haven't seen before. If that were to come out of Gimple's or Denai's brain and it was irresistible, then I think there's an infinite chance that it might happen again, but I don't know when. So it's awesome to see Andrew Lincoln on board. He just needs it to be something that's actually like worthy of storytelling, right? Like he just wants it to be something that's exciting and incredible. And obviously, you know, we're going to be entering what I call the, uh, the Walking Dead reunion phase. So obviously him and Daryl reuniting and, you know, him seeing Negan and Maggie again and, you know, Carol and everybody, obviously that's going to be worth doing. That's going to be a story that's worth telling. And as I've just said so many times, guys, like now that Andrew Lincoln, now that Rick Grimes himself, bro, a true legend, like is back in the Walking Dead universe, anything is going to be possible, man. Like I really believe with Andrew Lincoln, anything is possible. I think he's super, super watchable and the ones who live really made me love Rick. I always said Daryl was my favorite character, but man, the ones who live really made that a tight contest for sure, man. Straight up. Like, Daryl was always my favorite, but man, I don't know. I don't know right now. Um, And here we have a cool quote from Denai Guerrera. Uh, it says, And what does Denai Guerrera have to say in terms of her taking on doing a second season? She says, Ditto. Uh, she laughs, echoing her co-star. So, it just seems like everyone's, like, on the same page, right? Like, we don't really know what's going to happen, but it seems like everyone's on the same page and everyone is open to continuing the story. And uh, I think what's really interesting is, you know, Scott Gimple, obviously, at the very beginning of this video, I read you guys his quote where he said, it's definitely going to go somewhere. So I think, like, we all know we're going to see Rick and Michonne again. And if you were questioning that after this video, there's no way that you think there's a chance we're not going to see them again. There's a 100% chance we're going to see Rick and Michonne again in the Walking Dead universe some way, somehow. How? I don't really know. I think when you think about the Walking Dead schedule, it does kind of make things a little bit foggy in terms of that because you know, it makes things a little bit hard to understand because we have Dead City Season 2 coming out sometime in 2025. I would guess February. Um, also, you know, we still have Daryl Dixon Season 2 coming out this summer sometime. And also... Daryl Dixon Season 3 has already been confirmed, and I've heard that it's going to be filming in Italy or something like that. It's just rumors, guys. No inside information, okay? No inside information. I want to make that clear. It's just what I've heard. And, um, yeah, so Daryl Dixon Season 3 is already a thing, I'm pretty sure. Uh, no confirmation on that, but I'm pretty sure it's a thing. And, yeah, I mean, it's just interesting for sure, man. I think that, uh, you know, in terms of when, I don't know when we're going to see Rick and Michonne again. I think it'll probably be at least two years from right now. 
I think that makes the most sense. I think they're going to do something with Dead City, possibly Dead City like Season 2 towards the end, or maybe Dead City Season 3, and Daryl Dixon Season 3, where at the end of those, you know, we get that reunion, we get that crossover, because Scott Kimball has already said multiple times, the end goal was always to have all the Walking Dead spinoffs, you know, come together and uh, have a really big, like, crossover event. And possibly fear the Walking Dead characters, right? Are we going to see Dwight and Negan and Sherry and everybody back together again? I mean, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. But man, what an exciting time. I just wanted to share some of these quotes with you guys. For those who didn't already read these articles, um, it's really cool to hear Andrew Lincoln, Denai Guerrera, and Scott Gimple pretty much all on the same page. Practically saying, yes, it's going to happen, but no, we don't know exactly when. And obviously, with the way that the Walking Dead universe is going right now with the spinoffs, that just makes a lot of sense. Like, obviously, Daryl Dixon, Dead City, everything... Uh, there's just stuff that has to happen first, but I think we will get all those reunions and we're going to have a really big like crossover show, probably with Fear the Walking Dead characters, and it's probably going to be pretty bad, eh, man? So anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. It really means the world to me. We're closing in on 800 subs now. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Make sure you stay safe out there in the crazy world, man. Peace out.